Men's basketball looking to get a big win at home against Castleton University on Wednesday night. The Beacons looking to keep pace in the Lilies Conference standings, maintain their third spot in the race to the conference tournament. It'll be all UMass Boston early on, a barrage of three-pointers. Tommy Burris kicks it off with a three, and then Mariano Olivia Rodriguez hits a three from the top of the key. Bobby Joy caps off the 9-0 start for UMass Boston with a three of his own. Just like that, it looks like UMass Boston's in control. John Walsh comes back with a layoff. Part of a 7-0 Castleton run. But then later on, the Beacons continuing to punch Castleton University in the mouth. Tommy Burris with a three makes it a 10-point game. And then they continue to extend their lead from there. Xavier McKenzie with this layup makes it a 12-point game. McKenzie again is going to shift the defense down low, get to the middle of the paint, make it a 14-point ball game. And you think the Beacons are going to continue to roll as McKenzie one more time from the corner. Hits this three. 15-point lead with five minutes to go for UMass Boston in the first half. But the Spartans would respond, a 13-0 run. John Walsh with the layup. And then Justin Schwarzbeck from the top hits a three. Just like that, the Beacon lead down to 10. Schwarzbeck again from three hits another from about the same spot, makes it a seven-point game. And then one more time from John Walsh, layup down low, makes it a five-point game. Carter Mackey finishing it off with a deep three right there. And then another one in the second half gives Castleton their first lead of the contest, 28-27. to And then Malik Lorquette, what more can you say about the senior forward? Yet another posterizing finish for the senior in this one. Lorquette, a big dunk right there. And this second half would be big for him. He would finish with only 12 points and 15 rebounds, but he had some key blocks down the stretch, as we'll see later on. But you see, from all angles, Lorquette asserting his dominance on the offensive end, flying high for the posterizing finish against number 23, Justin Schwarzbeck. And then Emmanuel Zayas with the Beacons down by one, hits a three, the Beacons back in front. Trey Wright helps give Castleton University a six-point advantage. And then the Beacons once again responding. Zaya is three, makes it a one-point game. And then Bobby Joy, down three, the Beacons are. Hits one from the top of the key. We're tied back up at 44-all. But Castleton University would not go away in this one. Carter Mackey responds with a three of his own from an identical spot on the opposite court side. And just like that, it's 47-44. Mackey, again, lays it up and in. Five-point Caston lead with five minutes to go. It's now a six-point lead with just under three to go. And this is where the Beacons would come back. First, it's Malik Lorquette. Then off the miss by Joy. Ika Lua lays it up and in. It's a two-point game. And then Bobby Joy gives UMass Boston the lead. Back in the corner. Bangs it home. With less than a minute to go, UMass Boston in front, 57-56. But then Trey Wright responds with just under 40 seconds left, splits the defense. Lorquette gets up top, and just like that, it's 58-57. to But then Lorquette off the Lua miss, grabs the rebound, gets his 12th point of the night, a big one. It's 59-58. And then Lorquette with the play of the game to save the win for UMass Boston, driving in Castleton. And just like that, a block from Lorquette seals the deal in this one. You see down low, Trey Wright going for the layup, and Lorquette right there to block it. He's fired up. McKenzie would get fouled, miss the free throw. Castleton would have one more chance since it was a one and one, but they would be unable to do anything in the Beacons. Get a 59 to 58 victory at home to keep pace in the Little East Conference playoff race. They maintain third place for now. They go on the road to take on Rhode Island College at 3 o'clock p.m. on Saturday afternoon.